Hi, so today we are playing Call of the Sea. This is an indie game about a woman who's looking for her husband because he's gone to the mountains, he hasn't come back, he's ran away, and it's a puzzle game, which we know. I am not good at puzzles. If you've been watching this channel, I couldn't even press the right button to start the game. So I'll be honest, I've already played the first two chapters. We're replaying them because my audio and my webcam was not having it. So we're replaying it. So I'm not going to be as bad as you probably think. The first two chapters. But we're playing chapter one right now. What? What was that? What are those voices? You're going crazy, girl. like a little fish right now. See, this game is so pretty. Like, I actually can't get over it. I've not looked... Ooh. Where am I? Can we just swim that way instead? You think that would just end the game now and then? That would be cool. Just look how pretty everything looks. All the colours. I know this place. I've been here before. There's a door. Clock? Hmm. I've been here my entire life. I'm trapped in here. So she feels like her life's underwater. Under the stairs. Sea. I'm climbing these stairs again. That looks so comfy. My old music box. It's broken. I have to fix my old music box. I, I have to get it. I have to... Nah. <sighs> Those horrible dreams again. I've had them repeatedly ever since my mother died and left me that music box in her will. Harry always said that old family heirloom had something to do with... My family's strange disease. If the doctors won't give us an answer about your illness, I'll search for one myself, you said. And in that search, it seems you lost yourself. I don't think I'd ever... Pardon me, madam, but the island is in sight. We'll be lowering the boat in just a minute. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Captain Hodgson. I'll be right out. All right, time to gather my things. So if you haven't gathered, Harry is Nora's husband. It's not exactly a clawfoot tub, but you can't always get what you want. <laughs> what was I thinking when I brought all these dresses on this trip? Honestly, I would too. Hmm, I think I've overpacked. Nothing wrong with Captain that. Captain Hodgson has a very particular taste when it comes to decor. Okay, gotta get my gloves on, girl. Oh, I'd better cover up my hands before I leave the cabin. I wouldn't want anyone thinking I'm a circus freak. It's sad that people think like Merveille that. de Mer du Sud. Marvels of the Southern Seas, I think. The amazing adventures of Nora Everhart, art teacher. After spending so much time reading this book, I think I've learned a thing or two about Polynesian culture. So this is her journal where she's going to scribble down everything and draw it. And so we get to keep track of it. Curious things from the journey. So we have this whole log and obviously... I won't read it because I'm annoying. But here it is, if you want to pause it. <laughs> I went past it really quick. Okay. I received a mysterious package at my house. Ooh. 
I received a mysterious package at my house. I stored all its contents in my locked suitcase. Okay, okay. Mysterious. We gotta put those bops on. <laughs> so five oh six. I love this song. That is the code. Oh my, I have the worst memory. That we I got the combination again. It's Thank like goodness, I played I this before. I always bring my journal with me to write things down. Here we go. Wait, what? <laughs> Did I do it wrong? Okay. Oh my god, I'm so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, now it's open. Harry Everhart. My Hi. husband, my partner, and my dear old pal. A brass key with the letters CW engraved on it. And some enigmatic instructions. CW. 74 miles east of... I really cannot say that. Oh, the height. This strange and sharp relic came in the package I received at home. No clue what that is. I saw this island in one of my unsettling dreams. I drew it as soon. She drew it as soon as she could, yeah. We're all set, madam. The motor boat is ready. I'd always dreamed of traveling. It was not the same without you, Harry. Ah. Okay, Nora. From here on out, you're Wait, on your own. Wait, did she say how long her husband had been missing for? I feel like they must have. I just don't listen. That'll be for a while. Out of the blue. Lower the motorboat. Be careful with Mrs. Everhart's equipment, lads. We'll be back to pick you up in three days. I really hope you find your husband there, madam. I hope it too. I'll see you in three days then. So we have three days to find but Harry. Please be careful on that island. You know what the legends say about it. I'll take care. What do they say? Thank you, Captain Hudson. No one's told me shit. 74, yeah, of that island that I cannot well, say. Here I am. In the middle of the ocean after traveling across half the world. Just miles away from where my husband is supposed to be. You left a year ago to search for a cure for my affliction. Your letters kept me close to you. But suddenly they stopped coming. What happened, old pal? What did you find? Okay, so that answers that. Whatever it's it was, one year. it led you to hire a crew and set sail from San Francisco to Tahiti. And from there to this place, an island in the middle of the Pacific that the locals refuse to even name. Hmm. Maybe it's because they can't pronounce it. Everything is familiar. <laughs> so familiar. As impossible as that may sound. Is this the island I dreamed about? Dun, dun, dun! This, this can't be a coincidence. I'm going to start playing uh, Jurassic Park instead. <laughs> this is the vibes that I'm getting. Just need a few dinos. I'm upset. I wish uh, we could go swimming in this game. A breathtaking, like we did in the beginning. Island, surrounded by deadly reefs and protected with stakes to keep anybody from entering. Why? Maybe because everyone goes missing. There's definitely something strange about this place. Hmm. A hat. Come on. Get up. Oh. There we go. Okay, Harry. I'll leave my things in the boat until I find somewhere to camp. I mean, that seems really risky. But okay. Harry, it's you! I know it's just resonance, but I do love listening to the sea in them. There we go, we found him. 
Okay, we've got a nice little... What's it called? I'm just going to call it a, a tent. tent. So somebody was on this island recently. A miniature va'a. A Polynesian outrigger canoe. Beautiful. I need to stop with me off so far. A note written in French. I only understand two words. Ill and mort. Island and death. I mean... It must be a warning about the dangers of the island. Maybe. <laughs> I, I think I got that from this too, to be honest. Okay, we got a cave. I feel... Brad! Quite good. I dare say I might even walk a little faster than usual. That's always good. We got these little red stick things. Those markings seem to represent the sea. I'll make a note of them in my journal. It might come in handy. I think so. I wonder why. I know that. So if we get over here. Oh, look at all these necklaces. Cool. That is the sky. I'm surprised there's not a lot of pigeon shit around to be quite. <laughs> to be Looks quite. like it frank. opens from the other side. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. More red sticks. Running, 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 running. We These wooden figures are called this Unu. This seems Unu. to be telling a story. So the Unu, there was eight people on an island. They were on a mountain. <gasps> Is that one person like they went missing? I'm reading way too into that. Okay. We got it. We got another Uno. Uno reverse card. Um. Oh, there's another one there. Oh, cool, cool. Maybe it means another person might be saying. A bone fish hook. I don't know why that was there. Mm. An offering of mother of pearl. Quite valuable for the Polynesians. It may look peaceful, but clearly somebody wants to keep outsiders off this island. I don't blame them. I would do the exact same to be quite honest. This box. CW. Those are the initials on the brass key. Oh yeah. It opens it. So whoever sent me this key was here. What does CW stand for though? This is starting to look like a scavenger hunt. A carving tool. Nice. I mean, it must stand for something important. Here we well, go. Look what's hidden here. It's a mushroom. Love that about me. We got more of these unus. Oh, wait, I thought that was an option that we could press that. Never mind. Oh, one of these. Someone's on a boat. And they're heading to the island. Oh, that's cool. Um, are they worshipping someone? Oh, is this supposed to be Nora who's heading to the island? Again, I'm probably reading too much. From what I've it. read, the Polynesians don't need doors. So why build such a big? Well, that did something. There we go. Technically, it's not a door; it's a gate. It works. So I guess they don't need doors. This may be the first time I trespass a private property. 
My childhood in Newburyport wasn't exactly the most thrilling thing. Cheeky, cheeky. Uh, we can make... Is that beans? Is it rice and beans? Who knows? Lady Shannon? That name sounds familiar. Lady I'd Shannon? Check my journal. Lady Shannon is the boat. Is that Harry? Harry! Harry! You were here! You were here and I found you, damn it. Where are you now? Where is everybody? Where did you and all your crew go? Hmm. Maybe they were trying to run away from Nora. And that's why they had to try and block the entrance to try and keep her out. So here this we have a puzzle. Slot machines that Harry and I saw at the Atlantic City Pier. And the we Polynesian need to version. figure the puzzle out, which I totally haven't done before. I'm just a genius. <laughs> oh. oh, it's been years since I took such a long walk. This fresh air is doing me wonders. I can feel the air is denser here in this mangrove swamp. I mean, there's more trees, so probably there's actually oxygen here. Okay. Um, oh, wait, what? Rays of sunlight shining through. Another symbol. I don't remember that doing that. So if we look in our journal, we've got the little symbol-y thingamabobsies here. Crazy, right? Now that I've crossed half the world, I wouldn't mind crossing the other half. But I have to do it with you, old pal. That's so sweet. To be fair, I'm not one of those people that would want to travel on oh their my, own personally. This is so beautiful. Oh, what were these birds called? Uh, lorikeets. Cole's lorikeets. Sorry, birds. There are lorikeet feathers scattered around this unu. I'll draw the symbol in my journal. Is this something we can reach in? Oh, no, they're just feathers. Yeah, this is, like, this is what I mean. How is there no shit anywhere? Like, this game is too pretty. 100%. What's with all the necklaces everywhere? Are they supposed to, like, protect you, maybe? Might be that. Possibly. Oh. I'm not good at running. Yeah, so the more little shell necklaces. Uh, oh, yeah, that. This sort of pond is a Polynesian fishing technique. There's another symbol inside it. Polynesian fishing technique. So they'd go in the hut and get the fish. I don't know, it just sounds like normal fishing to me. Here's another one. What a beautiful mountainous landscape. It is. Uh, I don't think we need to go down there. I think we go around it. I don't really remember where I came from. I have the memory of a goldfish. Okay. Now we have the puzzle. So. Yeah, that's all the, there was 85. That's all we wanted. So Harry did it before, which I was like, absolutely amazed. I was like, we got to have the sun. And then I think it actually, no, the sun. And then you'd have like birds around the place or it might be mountains. I don't remember. So I had it as like the mount. Oh, wait, no. I think I had it as the sun 
and then you have the mountains and you have like the birds that go around the place and then you have the sea and then underneath the sea you have the little fishies that's just how i did it but i could be very wrong so oh i forgot oh shit <laughs> okay so the sun the mountains are the long ones and then the birds are the arrows the waves are these and then the little species fish are friends not food i did it wrong <laughs> maybe it is the birds and then the mountains yeah because birds go above the mountains don't they oh, i guess i hit the jackpot that's my ticket across the river then Bloody hell. I'm gonna slam on her head. Ooh. I just kinda wanna have a look for a second. Oh that looks so cute. Cool, cool, cool. She's looking out into the forest. Oh wait, no, it's not a forest, it's a mountain. Or is it a forest? A foresty mountain. Or a mountainy foresty waterfall. Why am how I so broken? Have I been walking? <laughs> I've lost track of the time. That's how I feel when I go anywhere. <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> so this is chapter one. Chapter two will be coming out soon. It should be. I'm really excited for all the chapters in this game. So make sure you subscribe and then you can see the rest.